In this video, I'd like to show you five open source projects that I have been using to make my applications better, learn to code, and understand how bigger applications and bigger software works. And frankly, I've never really been a fan of open source. I've always thought of it as a lower level tier code compared to private code because it's public. However, after seeing these five projects, you will also change your mind. And by the way, all these projects I have utilized in my own applications, and I'll show you how I've implemented them and why implemented them just so you know that these are actually things that I use and have benefited from as well. Now the first open source project that I have been using is highstorm.app and this is an amazing open source project. As you can see here not only do they have like this modern sleek look to it but if we head over down here you can see some of the best in my opinion uh, purchase cards uh, on, on the web right now and I can't believe this is open source like you have everything from like the gradients, the cool buttons, and it just it just shows the beautifulness, I guess you could say, of this project. And if we actually go over here to the open source project, you can see that it's public. It has over 3000 stars, which is amazing. And you can just look through it, learn how they did everything in here and implement it into your app research like this Slack is not or something like that and we can see over here how he built the button so you can see he put it in a link he has the arrow alongside the get started and he does a hover state so that this button moves when we hover and as you can see in my application that i'm building the lms platform which we'll talk about in a bit when we hover over the button it's the exact same i just took the button because i love the size and the normal and the curvedness of the button so i just implemented it and i also took this uh, from the application and i just took it because i like it you know what i mean uh, this open source project is amazing. I'm frankly a big fan of it and it's probably the best one I've seen uh, because it's so simple and uh, so easy to implement as well as just a great looking project. And by the way, everything here will be left in the description below, like all the links to the GitHub repositories and the uh, project itself. So don't worry about anything. Now, the next open source project that you should check out is Blocknote.js. This is a open sourced block based rich text editor. I'm literally reading it off of here, but basically kind of like you see in Notion where you can like type in a note section and you have a bunch of things that you can edit. You can do the same right here. And actually we can use the real life example here. So we can go over here and we can write like, hello. And it gives you these options over here where you can add color, you can uh, make it an H1 so it's a lot bigger. And it's one of those really cool tools that you can install into your application and utilize it within your app. And why I'm saying this is a really good open source project is because I think there's a lot of benefit to looking at how applications that are very complicated like this are made. Like if we go into the examples or documentation, uh, we can see how they are making their documentation, what they're doing for like the UI, for example, and everything like that. And even if we go deeper into the app, you can see they have like their documentation over here getting started and everything like that. And although you may not fully know how the actual tools were built because they probably uh, not making everything public. I think there is always a benefit to seeing how good documentation is written, how apps like this are made, like they'll probably show you how they made this part and how they're utilizing this in their app. And even in here, we have like a setup help. So if you need help setting it up, you have like a deeper dived um, example within the GitHub source code. And this is not gonna be the only big time app that is open source that we'll talk about, but just showing you that this is available. I love learning from these things and I've used this into my apps. Now the next open source project that I have used in my apps and I think you should as well be utilizing is fireship.io. Uh, I'm not gonna give Fireship an introduction because you know him, he's one of the best YouTubers hands down. And he has an LMS platform. And if you don't know what an L LMS platform is, it's a learning platform where people can come, uh, go to your courses and like, you know, learn from you apart from the YouTube and like the social media. And many people don't know, but this app is open sourced. And why I'm bringing this up is because I too am making an open source project and I have taken I wouldn't say a lot, but I've taken some inspiration from Fireship. For example, if we go over to the courses, you can see that I have 
the course card, just like him. Uh, it's not entirely similar, but I did take kind of like the idea of like the image and the text at the bottom. And if we go into everything over here, we can see how he built this application from like the bottom. We can see how he implemented the video player for his courses. Like we can go into, let's say this React Super Base full course. We can go down here into one of the videos, the free videos. And we can see that all he did was grab the on mount autoplay from his stores and if we go here we can see that he is either having the options of like vimeo videos which is this type of video or a youtube video which he's probably grabbing from his youtube channel and we can see how he has implemented the code for you know playing a video after it's ended playing the next video and all the code that goes into a good LMS app. And I believe this is where he's calling it, but it's just a great application. It's a large scale app that I think a lot of us could simply understand. Like, um, although it is a little bit complicated, uh, going through the documentation and reading it wasn't that difficult. Like I, I was able to take some parts of it and utilize into my own apps. But again, it's a really good app. It's a really good thing to see because not only is Fireship a great YouTuber, but he's also a great programmer from the get-go. And learning from him in a more deeper level, I think, is always good. And not many people know that his platform is open sourced. Now, the fourth GitHub repository open source project that I have learned from is dub.co. Um, I use this mainly for the looks of it. I personally love sleek looks. And I was introduced to this by a person called Dominic. He's in my Discord server. And I am really glad that I found this. Um, if you go back to my application, actually, you can kind of see a resemblance between both. Now, I did change the app over the past few months. But, um, I, for example, I took the gradients from this app and I implemented into mine. Like, you can see it's kind of the same thing. You can see that the small text down here I also took. But... Again, this app, uh, why I like it so much is due to the consistency, the uh, modern look to it, and the good practices that go into not only the UI of an application, but also a functioning app, because they're not just a UI library or anything like that. They are an actual app where they can shorten your URLs. So you'd like put in your URL and it could get shortened into like a better a more readable type of uh, link. And if we go down here, one of the best parts of the application is the globe. And I believe they took this from GitHub globe. And so for example, maybe if you liked the sign up button, which I love, like I love the uh, fully roundedness of these types of buttons. You have a full button that you can just take into your app and see how they did it. Also, I'm a quite big fan of the grid backgrounds. And so I put it into my app. Now I know you cannot see too much of how the gradient looks, but because of the screen, but you can see hopefully by now that I know I took the gradients. It's a bit harder to see on uh, YouTube videos because of the uh, removal of like certain qualities. But yeah, I love the, I love the grid. It just adds a extra oomph, if that makes sense to the, uh, the applications that you are using. So dub.co, amazing 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 even i took this i guess from it but uh, i actually didn't but cool we have similar ones and the final open source project that i am in love with is shad cn ui now all the other ones are either applications or just basic landing pages for people to use but why i like shad cn is the again the good practices that go into making a ui library and because they're making it public, you can not only see how a UI library is made, but you can follow the good practices that go into making UI cards, UI libraries, and the like. Because we know that it's one thing to make a, let's say an input button or a card, and it's another to make it responsive, easy to read, easy to look at and without any errors. And if we go to the code, I can kind of show you what I'm talking about. So for example, they have like examples on their pages of uh, how you can utilize their apps. So let's say over here, we have like the authentication example. You can have access to this example code right away. So in here we can go in and you can see the things they use, the authentication page. And sure, it's not working. It's just the UI because it is just a UI library, but just having access to good UI code from the best UI library, in my opinion, is so crazy. And I just, I love the idea that we have access to it at any time we want. And they have many more examples from like the music example, playground, just everything. And let alone the actual components, like everything here is public. Like you can just have access to the code. And again, why I like this so much is because 
It's good practices, very easy to use, and you can just see in real time how a good uh, UI library is made. And yeah, those are the five open source projects that I have utilized a lot into my apps and I've been currently using a lot and just reading a lot on. But if you have a recommendation of one that you're using or one that I should check out as well, then I would love to know more about it down below. And also if you wanna join the Discord community where we have everything from job opportunities to community projects, so just people helping each other out with projects and, and applications, then I will leave the Discord server down below. And I will also leave the free web developer roadmap down below for those of you that want a full roadmap of how I learned to code. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.